Hey guys, welcome back to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Okay, maybe not necessarily a tutorial, but nonetheless, we're going to be talking about Cinema 4D and more specifically, Arnold Render. Now, I know that some of you guys use Arnold, so those of you that do use it, stick around because I'm going to need some help with something. All right, so as you can see, I've got Arnold open and I've just got a very basic scene that I've put together here. Now, uh, I've got a machine here that has Arnold installed on it, and I've been playing around with it because I've been looking for a render to replace V-Ray. Now, even if I do replace it with some other render engine, I'm still going to use V-Ray for certain things. But a lot of the projects that I work on have devices that have many labels. And as I went over in my last video showing the V-Ray problems with stacking materials, you can see just how much of a huge pain in the butt it was to have to work around the issue. Now, in the end, it did work. There is a solution, but it shouldn't have to be that hard. So I've been looking to other render engines to see what they have to offer. So I've got this machine here. It's got Arnold on it. I've been playing around with it. And well, let's just say that I think maybe unless I'm missing something, I think Arnold might have the same issue. So what I want to do is, uh, you can download this scene file if you want to follow along with this. It's just something very simple. I'll have the download link in the description to this video. You can download it to go along if you'd like. So what I want to do is I want to apply two different labels uh, to the side of this object. And I'll just get this IPR window out of the way for a moment. And what I want to do is I want to apply a label here which will be right there. And then I want to apply another label over here. Now you notice that uh, these are at different angles. They're not uh, flush with each other. So that means if you were to apply a label uh, using the native Cinema 4D material, we'll just do that real quick. I'm just going to go over to the alpha channel and I'm just going to load up just a quick image. Let's load up something like this. All right, I'll just change this over to a plane. All right, so if you were gonna do this in Cinema 4D, like I went over before, uh, let's just give this a black color. All right, so there's your black. The black goes on first as the base. And then you take your alpha channel image, your label, and you apply it over. We'll change that over to flat projection. And we need to grab these two, and we're just going to Rotate that over 90 degrees. We'll scale it down. You can see that it's tiling. So we need to turn off tiling. Set it to front so we don't get anything on the back. Scale it down a little bit more and push that over. Okay, so there's the label showing up right there. But I also want to put another label over here. So we'll just reuse this label. So I'm just going to control click and drag that material tag over and push it over here. But it needs to be kind of rotate it a little bit. So we'll just rotate that just to make sure that it's lined up and it needs to be rotated a little bit more. All right, that's good enough. And we'll pull that back a little bit. All right, so there are our two labels. And just like that, and you know, you hit render, it renders, everything is fine. So that's how you would do that. However, Arnold is a little different. And for some reason, the Arnold textures are not showing up in the viewport. And I can't really seem to get this flat projection to work correctly. So I went online and I must have watched 10, 15 different Arnold tutorials talking about using images and alpha channels and things like that. And I can't seem to find anyone that knows how to do this properly. So here's what I've got so far. And maybe some of you guys can help me with this. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those. We'll get the IPR back. We'll turn it on. And this is basically just a HDR eye that I'm using here in the uh, Arnold Sky object. That's basically all I've got here for the lights. So let's delete these two here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an Arnold shader, a surface, and I want a standard surface. Let's turn that off for a moment. All right, so I'm gonna open up the network editor. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna drop this over onto the cube. 
All right, so here's the standard surface. The color for this, uh, I'll tell you what, rather than actually just kind of messing around with these settings here, I'm gonna show you what I saw in one of the tutorials. And I don't really know if this is the correct way to do this or not. So what I'm gonna do is this one here uh, is going to be the base coat color. So we'll make this black. And the specular, the roughness, I'm just gonna take this up to something like 0.3. Uh, the index of refraction will leave at one point. I'll tell you what, let's go to 1.3 with that. All right, so there's the standard surface. That's the base coat of black. So what I wanna do now is I wanna get a layer. All right, so there's the surface layer. We'll drop that in. And this here is gonna go down. It's going to be layer one. Now we also wanna take this standard surface and we want to duplicate it. But this one here is gonna be white because the color of our label is gonna be white. So we're gonna drop this in as layer two. Now if we were to connect this and turn the IPR back on, all right, you can see that it's showing up as black. Let me pull that over a little bit. All right. So what we want to do now is we want to get an image. So we'll get an image node. And we want to load up the same image we used before. And we will drop this in to the layer two alpha. And there is our image showing up. But you can see that it's being tiled and it's currently set to UVW. Now, the tutorial that I watched said that you need to change the wrap for the UVs. Uh, you need to change the mode from periodic to clamp. And when you change it over to clamp, what happens is it will stop the tiling. However, when I change this over to clamp, for both the U and V, you can see it's still being tiled. It's still showing up on the top and the sides and also on the back. And I don't want to do that. So I tried messing around with different combinations here, changed it over. None of these seem to work correctly. So I'm going to change it back to clamp. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this over to flat. Right now it's set to UVW. If we turn off tile, that doesn't really seem to do anything. So I'm gonna change it over to flat. All right, so now we've got a little bit of a change there. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can reposition this. Now, the issue here is that you cannot see this texture showing up in the viewport like we did earlier when we were using the native uh, Cinema 4D material. So you're gonna have to rely on the IPR window to do this, otherwise you're not gonna be able to see anything because I do have textures enabled. So I guess Arnold shaders or these Arnold materials do not show up in the viewport because nothing is showing up there. All right, so let's grab the scale, scale it down. All right, so you can see it's being tiled. So let's go over here and let's turn off tile and see what that does. All right, so, okay, that obviously works, but now what we've got is this little square section and uh, there's, you know, part of it is reflective where the actual material is at. What, what in the world happened here? Let's go back over here. All right, so the part where the label is at, you can see it's showing up with the proper reflection or specular amount that we put in, but the rest is just, you know, it's black. And I don't wanna do that. So in order to compensate for this, what I did was I created a new standard surface. And I changed this over to black and I went back over here, gave the same settings as the other shader Roughness is 0.3. And then I took this and you drop this, but it goes over here. On the left-hand side, that doesn't seem to work. If we change it over to the right, 
now you can't see the flat projected material. So clearly, I'm kind of like stuck here. I don't really know what to do to properly project this uh, logo onto the side of this object. You can see it's not really working. So the only thing left I know to do is to go into polygon mode and make a set selection right here in the center and use the set selection. And then we'll drag that into there. And it's kind of coming together, but you can see that it still has this rough outline on the outside. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. So if we jump back over here into our material, I change some of these settings. They don't seem to be working. Change it to periodic. That doesn't work. Clamp was supposed to be the one at the, uh, the tutorial that I watched said that clamp is the one you want to use. But obviously none of these are working. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. So if any of you guys use Arnold Render, perhaps maybe you can show me how to do this. Because like I said, I am new to Arnold Render. I've just been playing around with it now for a couple of days. Haven't really done a lot with it. Uh, I've just been kind of seeing what it's capable of doing and how fast it is. I seem to like it, but if I'm going to have trouble applying these labels like I do using V-Ray, then there's really no need for me to switch over to Arnold if it's going to cause just as much trouble as V-Ray did. So I'm kind of stuck right now and I can't find any information online about this, uh, you know, when applying multiple labels. And not only that, but I also noticed that uh, there's only eight layers here. Uh, it starts at one and goes up to eight. But what if I have 10? What if I have 10 images that I want to use and to project as a label onto the side of an object? So how would I do that if this layer node only goes up to eight? Is there a way to add more than eight layers to this? Are you supposed to drop in another layer node? These are things that I don't know, and there's not really a lot of information on it. So I'm reaching out to you guys that use Arnold Render. If you know how to do this and apply multiple labels to the side of an object and make it simple, then you know maybe put together a video capture of you doing it, or maybe comment below, or send me a private message. However you want to do it is okay with me. But this is where I'm stuck at. I don't know how to get past this issue. So I'm reaching out to you guys for some help. So I will go ahead and wrap this up and we'll see where it leads us. So as always guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully we can get this solved. Maybe there's an easier way to do it than what I've done here uh, with these three nodes and the layer node. All right guys, so as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.